welcome to Kids Art Week. Our theme this week is animals, and we're going to do lots of fun things with elephants and horses and, and uh, rabbits, but today we're going to do some imaginary animals and we're going to use blob shapes as our first mark on the page. So the first thing I want you to do is get your notebook and a blue or black uh, marker and go outside and find go blob hunting. You're looking for blob shapes. These are strange shapes. You, you might find one in um, a weird paint or there might be a stain on the sidewalk or a sidewalk crack or even bird poop can be a cool blob shape and I'd like you to draw at least three of those in your notebook. So here are some of the blobs that I found and um, Remember, we're going for animals, and you can tell already this one looks like an animal. But I think I'm going to use this one, because this one doesn't look like an animal right away. But I know that I can make it into an animal. So get your blob shapes in front of you. Pick one, and take your notebook and look at it. And then turn your notebook and look at it again. And what you're waiting for, or, or what might happen, is an animal will sort of spring to your mind. <laughs> um, and go all the way around. I like this one. Um, I think that this could be some kind of head, and this is a tail, or this could be some kind of head, and that's a tail. So I'm going to go with this one. So once you find your blob shape that you want to work with, and the orientation, or the, the way you want to do it, um, take your marker, and the first thing you're going to do is draw some big shapes that, need, that you might need to add in order to make your animal. These might be ears, another, uh, legs, um, maybe a tail. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make this guy my, um, my head. So I've got some ears here. I'm going to put my eye in. Now this is an imaginary animal. It doesn't have to look real. Um, I'm kind of like, I think maybe, well, I think I'm going to make some legs. He looks kind of like a cow all of a sudden, doesn't it? The second thing to do is to add some fur or hair or other details that you think your animal might have. So I'm going to go ahead and add some fur here, maybe a tail, and maybe even a whisker or two. Okay. The next thing you're going to do, and I don't know if you've ever noticed, but when you look at people's faces or you look at animal faces, sometimes they have freckles on their faces or they have maybe a, a dog has gotten into a fight and there's a little, a little scar on its cheek or they have um, some kind of things that aren't perfect, little hairs growing out. And that's the next step is to add just a few things on your animal that are kind of weird. It makes your animal unique. So I'm going to add just a little bit of sort of hair up here and maybe he has kind of a scar right here and um, maybe a couple more weird hairs here. <laughs> okay, the next thing you're going to do is shade your animal and this is very easy. We're just going to pretend that the sun is right up here in the right hand corner and your sun can be in the left in this corner. It doesn't matter. You choose. and. The idea is that the light is coming this way, so everything that is behind the light gets a little shading. So underneath the animal, since the sun is above, we're going to have some shading. And this is just like little, little marks. Maybe I'll crosshatch. This is when I crosshatch. I, I, I do like little crosses. Another place where shading might be would be underneath his neck here because the sun is coming this way. So I'm going to add some shading here. And then another place that you might add shading is where things meet each other, like, like the ears. I'm going to put a little shading under the ears and the eye. Okay, we're almost done. I'm going to put the um, pupil in the eye. You could do that first if you want. 
I kind of forgot a nose. So once you have your animals all drawn in, grab some colored pencils or markers or crayons and, and add color to your animals. And remember, these are imaginary animals. You can have a frog that looks like a rabbit. You can have a, a, a horse with rabbit ears. <laughs> you can make half of a fish and half of a cat, whatever you want to do. This is all from your imagination. It's crazy, craziness. That's what we want. So um, color in your um, animals and be sure to post them online. We would love to see all, I can't wait to see all the wonderful animals that you create.